Thank you to MaintainX for making this video possible. Integrate your whole enterprise into a unified namespace? <laughs> Come back in 2075. Challenge accepted. Stick with me and you'll learn what a unified namespace really is and why it's the linchpin of Industry 4.0 and how to launch yours in just 90 days. Stick around. Why factories stay stuck? Here's the pattern we keep repeating. You need a new feature? Wire system A to system B. Next month, you're wiring system A to system C, then system B to D, and so forth. Five systems means 20 custom connections, and welcome to the spaghetti nightmare. Every cable costs engineering hours, maintenance, and most importantly, context. Industry veteran Paul Boris said it perfectly. We spend fortunes trying to re-add the context we stripped out of the data. Silos swell, data rots, and every digital transformation pilot dies in purgatory. This isn't a tech glitch, it's an architectural flaw. So what fixes it? Keep watching. Enter the unified namespace. The antidote is a unified namespace. Three beats, real-time, event-driven, shared vocabulary. It's a live data broker where every device, application, and person publishes what they know and subscribes to what they need in a hub and spoke architecture, semantically organized. 20 tangled cables collapse into five straight lines. Think Slack for machines where channels are topics, emojis are metadata, who, what, when, why, baked into every message. But first, let's clear up four myths. Four big myths of the unified namespace. I asked the Industry 4.0 Discord server, what is a unified namespace? There were four common elements of which it is not. Myth number one, UNS is only telemetry. Wrong. We publish the shift roster through the UNS so every application knows who's on duty, not just their work order, sales order information. These different use cases drive scope. Myth number two, UNS equals MQTT. MQTT is popular, and it's often our first choice, but you can also use Kafka, AMQP, even OPC UA pub sub work. The protocol is the plumbing. The unified namespace is the floor plan. Myth three, UNS is a single source of truth. UNS streams the current state. While unified namespace streams the current state, deep history lives in historians or other data lakes. So while it is the single source of truth for current state, it's not the single source of truth for all history. That lives in your historians and your data lakes. But those data stores are fed by the UNS. Myth four, context dies when data leaves the PLC. Not with a unified namespace. We attach context at the time of publish, the path, the units, the quality, any other metadata information. Also, depending on the location you publish into the namespace, other data publishers can publish into that same context, allowing you to have the full picture of your enterprise. So if Fred dumps Diet Coke on a gearbox, the event arrives with who, what, and why, and the AI doesn't blame humidity. This information will be captured in a tool, a CMMS tool like MaintainX. A quick word from our video sponsor. MaintainX is the cloud native, mobile first CMMS that we recommend for teams that want to be live in weeks, not months. MaintainX delivers every pillar I just covered, plus in-app chat, AI-powered work order suggestions, and an open API that plugs straight into your unified namespace. They were a hit at the Prove-It conference. In fact, they were the only CMMS that met the minimum technical requirements. If you use the link in the description below, you can sign up for a free 30-day trial for MaintainX and tell them 4.0 Solutions sent you. So Paul also asked, can we capture human interventions? Let's answer that next. Tablets voice notes, e andons, whatever the operator uses can publish operator action Diet Coke into the namespace. No recontextualization required. So now, how do you actually roll this out? Here's your three-stage roadmap for rolling out a unified namespace. Our steps and keys guide breaks it down. Stage one, stabilize. Inventory your business processes, inventory every sensor, PLC, and database, and integrate that intelligence into the network. Stage two, Synchronize, build a unified namespace, map and publish data into it using a semantical hierarchy, deliver the right information to the right person at the right moment. If you miss step four, nothing downstream will work. Stage three, scale. Learn from the new insight, extend to more lines, plants, and business units, and steps nine through 12 are integrating machine learning, AI, iterating, and expanding. Also integrating like different LLMs. That's part of AI. 
but not just LLMs, but also predictive analytics, predictive models. So let's put the time on the calendar for 90 days. So here's your 90 day launch plan. Weeks one and two, your goal is to pick one single line and one KPI. For example, we're going to focus on OEE on line three. Weeks three to four, your job is to spin up your unified namespace broker. Let's say you're using Mosquito or HiveMQ. Secure it with TLS and access control. Consider what security you are going to use, but we recommend adding security once you've actually built out your proof of concept in order to ease the development process. Weeks five and six, design your namespace. Site, area, line, cell, tag, document it. You're gonna to wanna to store this in its own database. You're gonna use that database to drive a lot of your visualizations and your unified namespace creation. Week seven through eight, first publishers come online, you're gonna start seeing your PLC status, your MES order ID, and your shift roster. And all of these values, make sure to retain the last known state within the broker. So new clients that subscribe can pick up those updates and visualize them immediately. Weeks nine to 10, these are where your first consumers are coming online. You're using a Grafana dashboard to show live OEE, or you're using a time-based historian to show time series data. Operators get answers within 60 seconds, making it super easy to find insights. And weeks 11 through 12, this is when you're focusing on your executive demo. Your latency cut from 10 minutes to 60 seconds, 200 engineering hours saved yearly. The budget is approved to expand. You need proof that it works? Here's your reality check and inspiration. James in our Discord server replaced nine custom interfaces with one unified namespace topic tree in just six weeks and slashed maintenance costs by 40%. This is happening right now. So what's your next move? Step one, download our free steps and keys guide. We'll link it below. Step two, Share this video with anyone still wiring point-to-point -point integrations. Step three, go to iiot.university and take the free iiot mini course to get started. In about two hours, you'll jumpstart your digital transformation knowledge and be familiar with iiot, unified namespace, and digital transformation, all within the industry 4.0 paradigm. And last but not least, if you want to join a community of other like-minded thinkers, join the industry 4.0 community discord server. The link will be down below. I'm Zach with 4.0 Solutions. We save and create middle-class jobs by turning Plant 4 spaghetti into a single smart data highway. Let's collapse those cables. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.